Hi guys, welcome back to Let's Play Ocarina of Time. In the last part, we showed how to get past the guards the exciting, glitchy, faily way. And in this part, we're going to sneak past some more and meet the princess. Okay. These guards are pretty easy to get past, especially the first one. Gonna have to wait for this guy, because he will definitely see me if I run around the corner. Do, 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 do. Come on. Some pretty weird music we play in the background for this part. Okay. In this part, normally what people will do is... Normally what you'd want to do is climb up here and just walk across this plank. But if it is possible to get these rupees, I'll go ahead and just show that now. Because I'm feeling brave and think this would be more exciting than just walking across the plank. Man, these guards are idiots. Actually, a blue ruby hidden back there. And I will be using this rupee for... I'll be saving these for something later, so... Just to show that it is possible to get these rupees and not get caught by dummy over there. Shadow's actually glitching through the wall over here. My gosh. I can just make Flink yell his head off and... They don't even notice me. It's ridiculous. Okay. That was easy. And this one looks kind of difficult, but really it's not that bad. As I... I say that as I'm about to run out there and get caught by him. They move pretty fast, but they tend to stick together, which is dumb on their part. You don't want to get too close or else they'll catch you. This can be a little more challenging than sneaking past them outside, but really it's not that bad. And I think we got it. Just wait for him to walk a little bit more to the right. Okay. And boom, we made it. And finally, there's Princess Zelda. And now for one of the longest cutscenes in the game. Let's go meet the princess. Who? Who are you? How did you get past the guards? Um, they're a bunch of idiots. Oh, what's that? Is that... A fairy? Then are you... Are you from the forest? Then... Then, you wouldn't happen to have the spiritual stone of the forest, would you? That green and shining stone? Do you have it? No. Yes. Just as I thought! I had a dream. In the dream, dark storm clouds were billowing over the land of Hyrule. But suddenly, a ray of light shot out of the forest, parted the clouds, and lit up the ground. The light turned into a figure holding a green and shining stone. Followed by a fairy. I know this is a prophecy that someone would come from the forest. Yes, I thought you might be the one. Oh, I'm sorry. I got carried away with my story and didn't even properly introduce myself. I am Zelda, Princess of Hyrule. You don't say. What is your name? Dot 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 dot. Link. Strange, it sounds, some sounds somehow... Familiar. Okay then, Link. I'm going to tell you the secret of the sacred realm that has been passed down by the royal family of Hyrule. Please keep this a secret from everyone. No. Come on, don't be a blabbermouth. Please keep this a secret from everyone. Okay. The legend goes like this. That keep it a secret from everyone might actually be a reference to the first game. Or if you go into a cave, a moblin gives you money and tells you to keep it a secret from everyone. <laughs> the three goddesses hid the Triforce containing the power of the gods somewhere in Hyrule. The 
power to grant the wish of the one who holds the Triforce in his hands. If someone with a righteous heart makes a wish, it will lead Hyrule to a golden age of prosperity. If someone with an evil mind has his wish granted, the world will be consumed by evil. That is what has been told. So the ancient sages built the Temple of Time to protect the Triforce from evil ones. That's right, the Temple of Time is the entrance through which you can enter the sacred realm from our world. But the entrance is sealed with a stone wall called the Door of Time. And in order to open the door, it is said that you need to collect three spiritual stones. And another thing you need is the treasure that the royal family keeps along with this legend. The Ocarina of Time! Did you understand well the story I just told you? Yes, don't tell me again. That's great! I forgot to tell you. I was spying through this window just now. The other element from my dream, the dark clouds, I believe they symbolize that man in there. Will you look through the window at him? No, he's scary. Please, if you don't hurry, he'll be gone. Fine. Can you see the man with the evil eyes? That is Ganondork, the leader of the Gerudos. They hail from the desert far to the west. Though he swears allegiance to my father, I am sure he is not sincere. The dark clouds that covered Hyrule in my dream, they must symbolize that man. Just cause he has green skin? Man, that's racist. What happened? Did he see you? Don't worry. He doesn't have any idea what we're planning. Yet. Yes. I told my father about my dream. However, he didn't believe it was pro a prophecy. But I can sense that man's evil intentions. What Ganondork is after, is after must be nothing less than the Triforce of the Sacred Realm. He must have come to Hyrule to obtain it. And he wants to conquer Hyrule. No, the entire world! Link, now we're the only ones who can protect Hyrule. Please! I don't believe you! Okay. Thank you! I... I am afraid. I have a feeling that man is going to destroy Hyrule. He has such terrifying power. But it's fortunate that you have come. We must not let Ganondorf get his... get the Triforce. I will protect the Ocarina of Time with all my power. He shall not have it. You go find the other two spiritual stones. Let's get the Triforce before Ganondorf does, and then defeat him! One more thing. Take this letter. I'm sure it will be helpful to you. You received Zelda's letter. Letter! Wow! This letter has Princess Zelda's autograph! Show it to C and show it with C. I'm sex, kind of blah blah blah. Sweet! Let's go sell it on the black market. Take some money. Okay, maybe not. Okay. If you look through this window real quick, you'll see a little easter egg. You can see Mario and Peach. Bowser over there, if you go farther right, you can see uh, Luigi's picture. And if you go farther left, there's Yoshi. And if you shoot the window, 20 rupees. Unfortunately, all we can carry is 99, but eh, still nice. And if you shoot this window... Hey you! Don't cause any trouble! What the heck, man? You throw a bomb at a little kid? Dude! Okay. Um, there's Imp over there, but... That cutscene was so long, we're almost out of time. So, next time, I guess we'll go talk to Impa. Okay, see you guys then.